buttered chicken, fantastic recipe. Today I'm going to show you how to use your slow cooker to make buttered chicken in four easy steps. And step one is the marinade. The marinade base is plain unsweetened Greek yogurt. To that I'm going to add six tablespoons of garlic, minced. I'm also going to add two tablespoons of minced ginger. A tablespoon of garam masala, which is an Indian spice blend. That's what gives the butter chicken its lovely flavor, as well as some mild curry paste. Then two teaspoons of mild paprika for that lovely color. Two of coriander. And two of cumin. Then I've got some lime juice that I'm going to add for a little bit of extra acid. And finally, a really good pinch of salt. And then you just want to combine all of these till it's really well mixed. Just like that. And that is the marinade. Step two is adding the marinade to the chicken. This recipe uses boneless, skinless chicken thighs for richer flavor and they also hold up really nicely when you're cooking in the slow cooker. I'm going to add the last two pieces to my bag. This recipe calls for 16 boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They're in a resealable plastic bag and I've bent the edges back over and this helps keep the bag open. I've also put the bag in a bowl for more stability. So let's add the marinade to this. And then flip your edges over, squeeze some of the air out and seal the bag. Lift it up and then you're just going to massage it like this so that all of the chicken has a chance to get coated in the marinade. And then this is going in the fridge for up to 24 hours. Step three is making the butter sauce. And I started with some canola oil in my pot, heated it to medium high and added one chopped onion. I'm going to stir cook this until the onions are soft and really nicely browned. So stir until the onions are soft and really nicely browned. Time to add our seasonings. So I've got a tablespoon of the garam masala, another tablespoon of the mild curry paste, some paprika again, two teaspoons, and half a teaspoon of ginger powder this time. I'm going to stir this until it gets wonderfully fragrant. It'll take about a minute. Now I'm adding one can of whole tomatoes and a can of coconut milk. I want to stir this, making sure that I really get any of the brown bits on the bottom. And I'm going to take my wooden spoon here and I'm actually going to break up those whole tomatoes into smaller pieces. I'm going to bring this to a boil and then I'm going to let it simmer for about five minutes. The last ingredient in the butter sauce is butter. Stir that till the butter melts. Then take this off the heat and let it cool for about five minutes. Sauce is cooled for five minutes. I'm going to use my hand blender to puree this until it's smooth. Once it's smooth, I'm going to cool it a little bit more and then put it in the fridge for up to 24 hours. Step four is taking our marinated chicken and our butter sauce, putting it all together in the slow cooker. Make sure that you get all the chicken pieces out and then just arrange the chicken in a single layer in the slow cooker. You want to make sure that you've got a good size slow cooker for this. Butter sauce goes over top. And 
then move the chicken a little bit just like that to make sure that the butter sauce has a chance to get underneath and around all of the pieces. Put the lid on, set it to low for six hours, and press start. There you have it, slow cooker butter chicken. Serve it with basmati rice and naan bread or papadoms.